Okay, we're gonna do the one from De La Hiva. Okay, going belly down. So you get De La Hiva. What you need to do, you need to force your opponent to pulse his hand on the mat, okay? So that's what I need to do. To be honest, it doesn't need to be De La Hiva. It could be current sleeve, it could be uh, maybe I'm sitting up here and I do a power drag and I force him to pulse his hands on the mat. Okay. So this arm bar, we're gonna do from De La Hiva just so it's easier to see a lot of people play De La Hiva so a lot of people be comfortable with the technique, okay? But you can do every time you see your opponent posting the hand, okay? So, let's do from the La Hiva. I go the La Hiva, I have the collar, the La Hiva, I'm controlling the leg, stepping on the bicep or on the knee. Of course, we prefer to step on the bicep, easier to control, better guard control, okay? So I'm gonna pull the collar. You can be controlling the distance there and then you can kick the knee, that's fine, okay? But you should not leave your leg here because it's easier for him to jump over, okay? So, stepping on the bicep, I can kick the knee and pull the collar, almost like a cross face, okay, a collar drag. You guys can see how uh, the collar grip is not super low, like if it's low, then it, it doesn't work. It needs to be here, it needs to move his head, okay? So you see how I go here? Before pulling, I'm not just pulling, I'm just doing this first, okay? placing the back of my hand right here on his face, and then I pull. This is important, okay? Because that's how I force him. Let's say he's looking to me. That's how I'm gonna face, make him uh, look to that side. Look, I use the back of my hand first, and then I pull, okay? Because I want him to go there. I don't want him to go here. I want you guys to understand this, because if you're just pulling down, a lot of times you're helping the guy on top to stay strong in base. Okay? He wants to sink back, he wants to stay there strong. So if you're just pulling down, you're almost like you're helping the guy. Okay, I'm not, I'm not moving him, I'm helping him to stay like strong. Okay? So it makes more sense if I go here, I make him look to the side and then I pull, I pull, I kick and I twist the knee. Oh, right there. Okay? That's why the technique works. A lot of time, a lot of times people will say like, oh man, I'm, I'm pulling here. Uh, you know, this guy's just too good on top. Strong base, there's no way, I can't move him. No, you're doing the wrong technique. You're using the wrong technique. If you're just pulling down and, and kicking, it's not gonna work, okay? You need to step on the knee, you need to pull like a collar drag, and you need to, uh, let's turn this way. You need to make sure you're using the grip here. Look how, I'm twisting his knee, I'm, I'm pulling the grip, okay? Putting pressure on the knee, look, right here. I get to this position. He has to pose his hand, otherwise I'm gonna sweep him, okay? So one more time, you're playing De La Hiva, you step on the knee, you do like a collar drag, and you're pulling the grip and using your knee to twist your opponent's knee. He's close in the hand. Okay. Now, let's start here again. I never let go of the collar. You see the collar grip? It's gonna stay there until the end. Okay? Why? If I let go of the collar to hug his arm, he's gonna posture up. It doesn't make sense, okay? So I need to uh, keep holding the collar to maintain him in this position. Of course, I'm not gonna stay here forever, okay? It's gonna be fast. But anyways, I need to keep pulling, okay? Because when I step on his hip, I want to bring my hips close to his arm. You see the huge gap right here? Let's say I let go of the collar. When I try to attack his arm, he's, he's gonna escape, okay? Now, if I'm pulling the collar, when I go up, look this. You see the gap? There's no gap anymore, okay? I glue my hips on his arm. The hand that was controlling the leg, look again, look here, you see? The hand that's controlling the leg, let's try again. It's gonna go to his wrist. Step here, up, grab the wrist. Keep rolling, okay, look, look my left knee now doing the work. Putting pressure on his shoulder, look. Oh, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna end up here, I force him to roll. You see I have the collar? Now I can let go and control the wrist. Oh. Okay, remember? Controlling the wrist. Don't don't go here and grab your own hand. No, wrist. Okay. Now let's say when you do this, 
the guy is able to uh, connect his hands. I'm gonna stay in here trying to break. No, then I have to sit up. Let's start the line. Then I have to sit up. Let's uh, move here so you guys can see better. Then I need to sit up, work to break the grip, get a wrist, and then go on my back. Remember we did this? Okay, so if you do the technique, and the guy does not have his hands together, you, you end up here, then you just finish, of course. You don't need to sit up and, and go down again, okay? But let's say you, you do the arm bar and he's able to get to this position, okay? I'm not strong enough to break the grip from here. I'm gonna lose the arm bar. Don't even try. Even if you, if you do break the grip, you're gonna lose it. Oh, too much space, okay? In this situation where he's connecting his hands, I need to sit up adjust my arm bar you see how I'm pulling his arm up like pulling his shoulder up adjusting the arm bar okay I can't allow him to be uh, facing me you see how he's turning uh, into me like towards me because he's hiding his elbow so when I feel that okay what I need to do I need to pull him this way see how I'm forcing him to look that way okay that's how you readjust the arm bar okay if he's flat, it's fine. But if he's facing that way, that's the best option. Okay, way harder for him to escape. Now I break the arm bar, or I, I break his grip to get the arm bar. Remember, you don't go on your back. This is wrong. You're gonna lose the arm bar right here. Oh, you lose it. So you stay here. You see my chest on his on his tricep? On his elbow, there's no space for him, no gap, super tight, okay? So I break the grip, I go one, two, now I can go. You can finish here, yes, but remember what I said, this is better. Okay, so we did this, you know, a few weeks ago, or a couple weeks ago. Uh, I want to focus more on getting the arm bar now. But I just wanted to review, okay, once you are there, make sure you have a good control, you have the right grip. You don't want to do all this work to get there, and then you lose the arm bar, okay? So let's do the arm bar from Della Riva. Okay, Della Riva, belly down arm bar. And then make sure you do a good job controlling, finishing the position, okay? Finishing the submission, all right? Let's go, one, two.